Hello student, the question says, a geyser heater heats water flowing at a rate 3 liter per minute from 27 degree centigrade to 77 degree centigrade. If the geyser operates on a gas burner, what is the rate of consumption of the fuel? If its heat of combustion is 4 into 10 power 4 joule per kg. So basically, we have a geyser and the water flowing at a rate of 3 liter per minute and it is changing its temperature from 27 degree centigrade to 77 degree centigrade. Let us see how much heat is required for that. So heat required is simply ms delta t and we know mass of water we can simply write density of water is we will do it in liter, 1 gram per cc. cc is a fancy way to tell milliliter. So cc is a fancy way to tell milliliter. So 3 liter per minute means we have 3000 grams. So indirectly we can tell density of water is 1 kg per liter. So we have 3 liters. So simply mass is equals to mass given in the question is 3 kg. And what is specific heat of water? Specific heat of water is 4.18, 1 gram, 1 calorie per gram per degree centigrade. We can call it as 1 calorie per gram per degree centigrade. Or in Joule, we can call it as 4.18 into 10 power 3 Joule per kg Kelvin. So whether you do per degree centigrade or per Kelvin, it doesn't matter. Why that is so right now, I won't explain. Whether you use Kelvin or degree centigrade, in difference, it doesn't make it, uh, it will still be the same. So Q equal to ms delta t. So let us just substitute it. So Q equals to, it would be 3 kg into specific heat is 4.18 into 10 power 3 joule per kg. Everything we are doing it in SI unit into delta t is 50. Now if I substitute this value, we are getting 150 into 4.18. 150 into 4.18, that is 627 into 10 power 3 joule. So we need these many joules in one minute. So in one minute, we require 627 into 10 power 3 joule to heat the water from 27 degree centigrade to 77. Who is supplying this heat? By burning the fuel, we are supplying the heat. And what is the heat of consumption given? 4 into 10 power 7. So if we burn 1 gram of fuel, fuel, we get 4 into 10 power 4 joule. So to get, what is our requirement? Our requirement is 627 into 10 power 3. To get 627 into 10 power 3 joule heat, we need to burn. To burn, how many grams if you need, to, if you find it simply 627 into 10 power 3 divided by this value. 4 into 10 power 4 grams. So these many grams are required. Because if 1 gram is giving this much, that means if, uh, suppose, if 1 chocolate is this much, like this is the price of uh, 1 chocolate. So for this amount, he's asking you how many chocolates we get. So simply divide both of them and you will get the value. So if I divide both of them, 627, divided by 4, we are getting it as 156.75 into 10 power minus 1 grams. Uh, so it would be 15.675 grams. So this is the amount of fuel we need to burn per minute. So for every minute, for every minute, we need to burn 15.675 grams. 
so in simple terms if you want to tell it in terms of what is the rate of consumption of fuel so rate of con rate means anything with respect to time so rate of consumption of fuel is 15.675 gram per minute in ncert this has been approximated to 16 and it has given 16 gram per minute so hope you understood how I solved this is like a step by step problem first you should the most important takeaway from this problem is what is the density of water one gram per cc cc is a fancy name for milliliter and we can indirectly turn it say it as one kg per liter we are assuming pure water here if there are impurities the density will slightly increase so hope you understood how I solved thank you